belong first and foremost to God. God in his, in his goodness gives children as gifts to parents. They not only have the awesome responsibility of caring for this gift, but also the wonderful privilege of enjoying the gift. Because children belong to God and are given by grace as gifts to parents, it is only proper and appropriate that children be dedicated back to God. We are told in 1 Samuel 1 that Hannah presented her son, to, her son Samuel to the Lord. And in Luke 2.22, we read that Mary and Joseph brought their baby Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem in order to present him before the Lord. In the same way, David today brings his daughter, Madeline. That's my daughter's name, so it's easy. <laughs> Present first themselves <laughs> and Madeline before the Lord our God. Accompanying them and making this commitment is Grandpa Corey. <laughs> and uh, witnessing is uh, all the family and friends who are present. Family and friends who are present today. So David, I call your attention to the commands of God recorded in Holy Scripture. Deuteronomy six four through seven tells us: Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your daughter. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Ephesians 6, 4 says, Fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. God's instructions are plain. David, love, the, love God with every ounce and fiber of your energy and teach Madeline to do the same. As you love God one another... And other children, you will model before Madeline the wonderful love for God that he, that he wants for himself. David, by coming forward before God and his people, do you hereby declare your desire to, de to dedicate Madeline to the Lord? If so, please respond, I do. I do. Having come freely, I ask now that you enter into the following commitment in the presence of God and his people. Now, this will be the point where when the mother and father come up, the mother actually hands the child over to the father, and that's the symbolism of the father as the head of the household. Uh, let me find where I'm at. Um, here we go. Um, okay, so that Madeline may walk in the abundant life that Christ offers. Do you, David, vow by God's help and in partnership with the church to provide Madeline a Christian home of love and peace, to raise her in the truth of our Lord's instructions and discipline, and to encourage her to one day trust Jesus Christ as her Savior and Lord? I do. Madeline, this kind of love cannot be done alone. It requires the help of others for this reason. David, call upon the help of your grandfather, of, upon your father. I now direct my question to you. <laughs> by coming forward before God and his people do you hereby declare your desire to help David and raise a Madeline to become uh, to, to become to a state of knowledge of Christ as her savior and if you do say I do. I do having come freely I ask now that you enter into the following commitment so that Madeline may walk an abundant life that Christ offers do you vow by God's help to encourage through praise and correction uh, David and Corey and their efforts to raise Madeline in the fear of the Lord to uphold them in prayer and if anything should happen to David do you assume the responsibility in helping Madeline receive your Lord's guidance and instruction I thought you'd say we do. we do finally I ask that the church make a vow as well there's an old proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child Parents have first responsibility, but parents need the help and support of the community. So I direct my question now to the church. By being present in God's house today, do you hereby declare yourselves to be children of God because you trust in Jesus Christ alone for your forgiveness of sins and the gift of eternal life? If this is true, please respond by saying, we do. We do. Would you please stand? Having come freely, I ask now that you make the following commitment to those who stand before you, so that Madeline may walk in the abundant life that Christ offers. Do you vow by God's help to faithfully in your calling as members of the body of Christ to help David and Corey to be faithful to God and to help teach and train Madeline 
in the ways of the Lord so that one day she may trust him as Savior and Lord. If you accept this responsibility, say, we do. We, we do. do. Let's pray. Father, thank you.